You ever been at a restaurant, finished your meal, and started stacking your plates for the waiter? You probably thought you were just being helpful, right? Well, it turns out psychologists see something much deeper going on in that simple act. It's not just about being polite. It's a window into the very fabric of what makes us human. So when you stack those dishes, you're engaging in what's called pro-social behavior. That's just a fancy term for voluntary actions intended to help someone else, with no immediate obvious reward for you. But why do we do it? Is it just to be nice? Not exactly. Our brains are actually hardwired for this. Think back to our early human ancestors. Life was tough, you couldn't survive alone. Cooperation was everything. The groups that worked together, sharing food, defending against predators, helping each other out, were the ones that survived and passed on their genes. So over thousands of years, our brains evolved to favor cooperation. Helping isn't just a choice, it's an ancient survival instinct. This instinct is reinforced by something called reciprocity norms. It's the unwritten social rule of I help you, you help me. Even when you help a complete stranger, like a waiter you'll never see again, you're strengthening this social contract. You're casting a vote for a world where people help each other. It's a tiny deposit into a global bank of goodwill. And here's the really cool part. When you do something kind, your brain gives you a little reward. It releases a cocktail of feel-good chemicals. You get a squirt of dopamine, the same chemical linked to pleasure and motivation. You also get a dose of oxytocin, often called the bonding hormone, which makes you feel more connected to others. So stacking those plates literally makes you feel good and more connected to the people around you. It's your brain's way of saying, yes, do more of this. Beyond the good feelings, it's also about social signaling. Every small act of kindness sends a message. It tells the people around you, your friends, your date, even the waiter, that you're a considerate, trustworthy, and cooperative person. You're someone who thinks about others. It's a subtle way of building your reputation as a good person, one stacked plate at a time. And this isn't just about restaurants. Think about all the other little things we do. Holding a door open for someone, letting a car merge into traffic, or giving up your seat on the bus. Each one of these micro acts is like a rep at the gym for your cooperation muscle. They strengthen the neural pathways that make helping a habit. So the next time you find yourself tidying up your table after a meal, remember what's really happening. You're not just being polite. You're acting on an ancient evolutionary impulse, reinforcing the social glue that holds our communities together and giving your brain a little hit of happiness. You're exercising the very circuits that allow us to cooperate and solve big, complex problems as a society. That small stack of plates? It's a symbol of the best parts of our humanity.